Hey everybody, happy Saturday to you. Uh, it's actually Saturday afternoon here, and uh, I look a little peaked again, I guess, but I've been out uh, riding my dirt bike all morning. So I was up at Roush Creek doing a poker run there and helping them promote their facility, Roush Creek Trail Riders. If you all don't know about that and, and like to just ride off road, that's a great place. They have about 12,000 acres, I think, there, and they have overnight camping. You have to buy a membership for the year, but I don't think it's real expensive. Um, to have access to all that land and overnight camping and things like that. Check them out, Roush Creek Racing.com, I think. You can find them in Brat Magazine. So uh, we had a good time there. Over a thousand riders, man. Side by sides, dirt bikes, ATVs. And we had a blast there, about a 25 mile loop. But anyhow, I did that this morning. The bugs are getting me here. I'm actually at the Blue Marsh Lake, uh, just north of Redding. I don't know if you can see the lake over in the background there. We're at a boat launch area here, and the bugs are attacking me under the tree, but that's okay. Um, on my way to Pagoda for a mama event, and I'm going to do, uh, as I told some of you earlier this week, I'm going to do my first ever chapel service tonight there. So I'm pretty excited about that, but I, I will tell you that uh, Satan's been coming after me all day. You know, he's just like trying to convince me, you don't want to do that. God's, God's stuff really isn't right, you know? And people don't want to hear that crap. Go away, Satan. I love the Lord. So anyhow, I've uh, been battling that all day. I'm in between venues. I'm on my way. We're set for 6.30 in the pavilion there. I understand I got a little bit of a late start today with the racing, but uh, we're going to 6.30, chapel, and then 7 o'clock, I believe they got a DJ starting up. So anyhow, we're going to jump in. We're on Proverbs chapter 27, and I'm back to the New International Version. I got to pick up a new living translation because I really understand that much better. But anyhow, we're going to dig through this, read through here uh, this afternoon, and I hope you guys get something out of it. I'm sure I will. Chapter 27, Proverbs. I got to flip back through here. The wind was blowing me around. Do not boast about tomorrow, for you do not know what a day may bring forth. We don't know what's going to happen today or if we're even going to make it till tomorrow. So. Uh, don't worry about it. You know, God will take care of that for you. Make sure you get through the day properly. You know, I was wiped out today on my little Sherpa Pitster Pro 125, face down in the rocks, but we made a miraculous save. Thank you, Lord. Actually, I didn't do it. God did it. But verse 2 says, let another praise you and not your own mouth. See, I just caught myself. It's amazing. Someone else and not your own lips. Let another praise you and not your own mouth. Someone else and not your own lips. Give God credit. Stone is heavy and sand a burden, but provocation by a fool is heavier than both. Don't listen to him. Anger is cruel and fury overwhelming, but who can stand before jealousy? Better is open rebuke than hidden love. Again, God just reinforcing wisdom here and, and how we can live a better life. Wounds from a friend can be trusted, but an en enemy multiplies kisses. So stick close to the people you know, the people you trust. Better be wounded by a friend than uh, harmed by an enemy. I guess that just means to be wise and be aware of what's around you. He who is full loathes honey, but to the hungry, even what is bitter tastes sweet. So honey being knowledge, and sometimes we get filled up, we think we don't need any more. But to the hungry, even what is bitter tastes sweet. So if you're seeking, if you're seeking the knowledge, it's there for you. Like a bird that strays from its nest is a man who strays from his home. Perfume and incense bring joy to the heart. And the pleasantness of one's friend springs from his earnest counsel. So here the Lord is saying that uh, friendship loving your neighbor is uh, as sweet as perfume and incense verse 10 goes on do not talks a lot about friends here do not forsake your friend and the friend of your father and do not go to your brother's house when disaster strikes you better a neighbor nearby than a brother far away so uh, i looked in the footnotes and it says stick close to you know stick close to home you're better off consoling with a friend close by than to try and call your brother that's in milwaukee or wherever you're at, could be in Japan. Not sure. Be wise, my son, and bring joy to my heart. Then I can answer anyone who treats me with contempt. And I checked the footnotes there, and it talks about serving as a powerful testimony uh, that the Father or the Teacher, Lord above, 
who has shaped him has shown himself to be a man of worth. So, you know, so like I said, Satan's been coming after me all day. And tonight I plan on uh, sharing some of my testimony. I'm sure some have already heard it. Some may have not. And then uh, mix inscription with that. But here God's just verifying for me to be a good testimony. He'll take care of me. Okay? It's all good. Satan, you're, you're a loser, dude. Go away. The prudent see danger and take refuge. But the simple keep going and suffer for it. So fools don't learn. They keep seeking foolishness. Take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger. Hold it in a pledge if he does it for a wayward. Hold it and pledge if he does it for a wayward woman. Repetition is the only footnote that I have. So I understand. Uh, take the garment of one who puts up security for a stranger. That person is trustworthy. Hold it and pledge if he does it for a wayward woman. Get it? Got it? Okay. So if he's doing it for the, you know. He's doing it for that wayward woman, that wrong reason. Don't don't trust him. Uh, if a man loudly blesses his neighbor early in the morning, it will be taken as a curse. Here we go again. A quarrelsome wife is like a constant dripping on a rainy day. Restraining her is like restraining the wind or grasping oil with the hand. And a quarrelsome wife is the fool. It's a lack of wisdom knowledge. Okay, Proverbs is the, the knowledgeable way. As iron sharpens iron, so one man sharpens another. Who are you hanging around? Be around the right people. Okay. He who tends a fig tree will eat its fruit, and he who looks after his master will be honored. That's verse 18. The New Living Translation is, is uh, a little easier to understand. I don't have it in front of me. He who tends a fig tree will eat its fruit. If you're doing well, you'll be, be blessed for that. He who looks after his master will be honored serving God, he'll take care of you. It takes me a little while, but I catch on. <laughs> Anyhow, as water reflects a face, so a man's heart reflects the man. You'll speak what's in your heart, the Bible says so. That's why it's so important to study this stuff. You get the right stuff in, the right stuff comes back out. Death, and I'm going to talk about that a little bit tonight. Um, death and destruction are never satisfied, and neither are the eyes of man. We are only human, and... <laughs> going through it again uh, with some training at church and it's just unbelievable how people who want to be in leadership positions want to judge other people who are already in leadership positions <sighs> Gotta be careful what I say I guess just my interpretation of things you know like my wife we were talking about something last night and and she says to me you know visible sin what about the invisible sin how, how can we sit and say that so-and-so can't be this or do that because they're visibly doing this? Because that's a sin in the Bible. Man, we're all sinners. Could be a tangent, but I'm like not going there right now. The crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but man is tested by the praise he receives. Though you grind a fool in a mortar, Grinding him like grain with a pestle. You will not remove his folly from him. Fool wants to be a fool till they're ready. They're going to continue to be a fool. No matter what you say or do. Be sure you know the condition of your flocks. Give Verses 23 through 27 end up the chapter here. And in my footnotes it says, A section praising the basic security afforded by agricultural pursuits. Reflecting the agricultural agricultural base of the ancient economy even America is based on farming man you know I mean and, and back in the day you, you were a farmer you were a blacksmith some type of service business okay there were merchants I guess but these verses here pertain to uh, praising the basic security offered by agricultural pursuits be sure you know the condition of your flocks give careful attention to your herds for riches do not endure forever and a crown is not secure for all generations. When the hay is removed and new growth appears and the grass from the hills is gathered in, the lambs will provide you with clothing and the goats with the price of a field. The lambs will provide you with clothing and the goats with the price of a field. You will have plenty of goat's milk to feed you and your family and to nourish your servant girls. So, 23 through 27 ends a chapter talks about agriculture of the value in that how planting seeds 
produce fruit, okay? Whether you're growing an apple, Johnny Appleseed. I'm sure you all have heard that story. Maybe some of you haven't. It's Anyhow, uh, good stuff that kids should hear today that they probably aren't. Planting seeds produces fruit. The Lord says, know the condition of your flocks. Be careful. Pay careful attention to your herds. I'm a little slow sometimes, peeps, especially when I've been beating around on the rocks all day. Boy, you got to love these Pennsylvania rocks. It ain't a motocross track, that's for sure. But I had fun. Me and my Pinster Pro, we got through it. Got some carburation issues going on there, Mr. Squeak. We're going to have to talk about that, but I think it's something simple. The floats might be sticking or something. But anyhow, I don't want to bore you with that. I love you guys. I'm on my way to Pagoda. I'm at the beautiful Blue, uh, Blue Marsh Lake area here this is a pretty big lake i think outside of reading recreational area if you live by nearby come check it out if not don't live nearby come check it out too so it's always good to be out in nature peaceful with the lord as i said i love you guys we're winding down but we're gonna keep going so uh, we'll catch you later at pagoda and we'll catch you later here tomorrow